People have been capturing the energy and moving water for thousands of years. And today, it's still a powerful resource that can generate clean, renewable, and affordable electricity. You see, we harness energy from flowing water and convert it to electricity. That's what we call hydroelectric power or hydropower. Water flows from a higher elevation to a lower elevation, and a hydropower facility uses turbines and generators to convert this motion into electricity. America has been using hydropower to generate electricity for more than 100 years now. And today, about 7% of all our electricity is generated from hydropower, making it the largest source of renewable power. So, what makes hydropower renewable? It's simple. Water. Water evaporates into clouds and recycles back to Earth as precipitation. The water cycle is constantly recharging and can be used to produce electricity along the way. How does it work? Basically, there are several ways hydropower technologies can generate electricity. You may recognize dams, like this one. This technology is called an impoundment. The impoundment stores water in a reservoir. When the water is released, it flows through and spins a turbine, turning a generator that produces electricity. Here's another technology. This is a diversion. It channels a portion of a river through a canal or pipe into a turbine and generator system. What's cool about this method is that it uses the natural flow of the river and usually doesn't require a large dam. And have a look at this. This is called pumped storage hydropower. Basically, it works like a huge battery. To charge the battery, water is pumped back up into a reservoir during periods of low energy use, often during the night when people are using fewer appliances. Then, when people need more power during the day, the water can be released to produce electricity. As long as we've been capturing energy from water, you may think there's nothing new in hydropower technology. Think again. The Department of Energy is helping to upgrade older facilities by increasing the efficiency of the turbines and generators. Operators of neighboring hydropower facilities are also working together to optimize energy production across whole river systems instead of each dam working alone. And we can add generators or retrofit dams that were built without power, like dams used to water crops or prevent floods. Today, there are about 80,000 dams in the U.S., but less than 3% of these dams produce power. That means there's a big opportunity to generate more clean, renewable power at dams we've already built. New technology is also making hydropower even more environmentally friendly. For example, researchers are reducing adverse impacts on fish with fish-friendly turbines. And fish ladders, like these, let them swim around dams. Hydropower is an essential, reliable, and renewable source of clean energy with a rich history. And it's meeting substantial energy demands today. With new technologies, it will be even more efficient and have greater production capacity, powering U.S. homes and businesses for centuries to come.